tomorrow's a big day, Stan. CBS Morning Show Live. Should be pretty uh, scary. Hopefully it'll be a good show. Adam, your thoughts? Adam, yeah. what time, what time do you have to get up? Um, 4, 4 a.m. To be down over 5 a.m. And are you, are you looking forward to it? Yeah, yeah, should be good. I'm very much looking forward to it. So, uh, big day tomorrow? Yeah, it is. We're doing what Stan said at the time that Adam said. <laughs> Stop sucking your thumb. <laughs> You're a bit. Tell me about the deal. What deal? Sucking thumb deal. Yeah. Adam sucks his thumb. I don't want him to. That's the deal. The deal. No, the deal. I will buy him a present. What present? Depends on how good you are. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it gets downgraded every time you suck your thumb. Yeah. So what is it at the moment? Peanut. <laughs> how does how's it, how's it feel it's different to, I mean, a year ago you were Memphis doing the TV thing, why does it feel different to that? Because this is in front of millions and millions and millions of people and it's a major, major national TV network. Uh, it's, it's a big deal. Surprisingly good. Well, I got some food. So I think it's uh, I think it's gonna be all right. Oh, melon! <laughs> it's nice to have. Uh, Stan, we happy. Ooh. <laughs> British blues rock started in the '60s with bands like the Rolling Stones and the Yardbirds and artists like Eric Clapton and Jeff Beck. This morning we have the latest entry in this great tradition: Backdoor Slam. A young trio from the tiny Isle of Man. Their debut CD is called Roll Away. And we are delighted to welcome Backdoor Slam, Davey, Ross, and Adam here to our Second Cup Cafe. Nice to see you guys. Thanks for being here. Thank you. So you've been compared to Jimi Hendrix, Eric Clapton, Stevie Ray Vaughan. Pretty big company there. What, what are those comparisons like? Exciting or do they put the pressure on? <laughs> uh, it's incredibly flattering. Incredibly flattering. But, I mean, those guys are the legends, aren't they? They started the whole thing. And we're just uh, we're just trying to do ours. <laughs> Somebody called you though, the LA Times, a guitar god in training. Oh, it's, That's it's pretty impressive. It is. It's, it's very kind. <laughs> now you guys are young. You're 20, 21, and 20. You know this sort of genuine bluesy rock and roll. You don't expect to come from young folk like yourself. Where, where's the inspiration for you? Well, we all grew up with this. Well, uh, me and Adam in particular grew up with this this music and uh, playing in our house. And our fathers were a big, big influence on us. Uh, their record collection, stuff like that. So. We were always kind of exposed to it, and it's just the music we kind of took to. It sure is. Okay, what are you going to play for us today? This is a song called It'll All Come Around. All right, take it away. Backdoor Slam.
gentlemen, backdoor slam. You know, my two-year-old wants to learn how to play the guitar. You want to teach her? <laughs> You're amazing. I enjoyed it very, very much. It was a fun time for us all. Did you enjoy it? I did. I, jumped in the end, I, did. I, was, I had a bit of a bit of a moment of uh, nerves, but it was. Jumped a thousand. It was pretty good. Excellent. It's jumped a thousand. Two hundred five. From one to two hundred five. We've gone from nine to two hundred five plays, oh. and it's jumped a thousand pro fees. So it's worth. What in an ounce? And that's not even the West Coast yet. Yeah, Adam. This is for the Midwest now. Are you happy? Yeah, yeah Bassett. Do you enjoy it? Yeah. Say more than yeah. Oh, it was a very good amp, very good atmosphere, very good. We played really well. And, uh, What's your name? My name is Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Let's right. go get hammered.